Hi, brothers and sisters, friends and family, um, believers, non-believers. I was a little nervous uh, going live and doing this video. I've already done one video trying to get it uploaded onto um, Facebook, but it has, uh, has not happened. So um, I'm doing it now. Um, I wanted to uh, talk to you about a, a dream I had last night. I've had dreams like this before in the past um, from God. And, um, and before they've been um, warnings from God about either my life or someone else's life. And, um, but this time it was a lot different. Uh, this time, this dream was about the upcoming rapture. And um, I was, uh, I just had to share it with everyone because I, I woke up last night at 2 a.m. and um, I was walking along the street and suddenly I looked up and there were thousands of angels, thousands of angels flying in one direction. And I looked up and I saw a glimpse of Jesus and then there were more angels. And um, then they, they acknowledged me. I saw them, they acknowledged me and, and th it was, this is it, this is Jesus is coming. So I ran home and when I ran home, all my family was there and I told them, well, um, uh, everyone get ready because the Lord is coming. You know, he, they're, they're coming to get us. And so what I wanted to tell you also was that uh, though the movie, you know, that we've seen before, Left Behind, where we just vanish and go poof. Well, that's not scripture. Scripture says that the angels come and gather us together. And that's exactly what they were doing. They were coming to gather us together. And uh, I wanted to kind of read uh, like First Thessalonians. Uh, to you in first Thessalonians it says 4 verse 16 through 17 for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead of Christ will rise first then we are alive will remain and remain will be caught in together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord <clears throat> in the air and we shall always be with the Lord and then uh, I was sharing this also with my sister this morning and she shared with me Mark uh, 13 verse 27 which says and then he Christ he will send forth the angels and will gather together his elect which are us the believers from the four winds, from the farthest end of the earth to the farthest end of heaven. And that's what I saw. And um, so what I did, I ran back to the house and I, I gathered my family and just, we were waiting. And the next thing you know, I was trans, transported to a house. I was in a, a family's house, uh, a, a young family with children. And uh, I was helping them get ready for school. And there was this camera. And it was it was videotaping, and I was trying to explain explain to them what was happening, what was going on, but they were so busy and consumed with their life and what was going on in their life and being busy that they could not uh, they they could not hear or even understand what I was trying to say to them. And so what I got from that was non-believers are not going to see the angels. The angels are going to come and get us, but non-believers are not going to see it. They're not even going to be phased by it at that point. They won't see that. And um, only we will see the angels. So in the scriptures that say, keep your eyes fixed and looked upon the skies, that's what you need to be doing. We all need to be looking up and keep our eyes looking up and stop being so distracted because we're, we all get very distracted. So start looking up and as when after I looked at the first recording when I was trying to record this a little while ago because uh, I, I could not understand what the camera meant or the video recorder meant and as I did that because I was hesitant hesitant about recording this and then it it, it came to me the God the Lord gave me the revelation that um, he wanted me to record this because I was hemming and hawing all day like should I should I not and but God wanted me to get this out there and for everyone all of you share this with whomever 
tell everyone to keep their eyes open and don't be so focused on your day-to-day -day life to know that the Lord is coming back. It could be a month, it could be a week, it could be days. We don't know, but let's start focusing and keep your eyes fixed on the sky. And uh, I wanted to continue um, uh, with one more scripture. Um, it was in Luke 21, verse 25. Um, well, down here at 27, it says, then, then they will see the Son of Man coming on the cloud and power with great glory. And when these things happen, when these things begin to happen, and what in this scripture, when he's talking about these things, he's talking about in this uh, verse 25, the, the earthquakes and the, um, all of the hurricanes and things that have been happening. Uh, these things have already begun to happen. Then you will, but when these things begin to, ha to happen, to, when these things start to take place, straighten up and lift your heads because your redemption is drawing near. I'm not just saying it. The Bible says to do that. And so the Lord says to do that. So also in the dream, now we, as we were all leaving, uh, I had turned to look at all the people that were left. And they weren't, they didn't notice us leaving. They didn't know that we were, you know, going. But I saw and I said to myself, do they even realize what's about to happen after we leave? All the chaos and things that will happen during the tribulation. And um, after that, I still had this sadness in my heart, this troubleness that I had. And I looked at the angel and I asked him, I said, well, why can't I take Carly? And Carly's my little dog. And he said to me, well, because no one asked. And he went from that, that second, he went and got her. And my dream was over after that. So it was an incredible dream. I woke up immediately and I wrote everything down. And I'm so grateful that I was able to record this. And please share it with everyone and anyone. And this is a time of to share God's goodness and his mercy and his love with everyone and to know that Jesus is coming back and to know that and to be ready. It is time for us to wake up from our slumber, to fill your lamps with oil.